Hi everybody, I'm Alex from UBC Physics, and this is my Rube Goldberg machine. And Archie is going to be helping me out with it today. Okay, let's check it out. Are you ready for your treat? You ready for your treat, Archie? Yep. Okay, here we go. Your treat's up here. Okay, now that Archie's gotten his treat, let's check out the machine in more detail and learn a little bit about the physics. The first part of the machine is this long track, which I made out of a chunk of wood, a board, and some toy train track things. And up here, there's a little train, and you can see that when I lift this up, the train will fall down the track, and then it's going to hit this, and that's going to make the next part of the machine go. And you can see that when I let go, the train's going to build up its momentum, boom, and then it hits this and puts its momentum into this one. Okay, so here's the next part of the machine. You can see that there's this thing in the way. It doesn't move, it doesn't have wheels, but after it gets knocked away, by the train that's falling down, after it gets the momentum from the train and goes flying, then these guys are able to move. And those guys, they're up high, they're up on the ramp, so they have potential energy. And once this goes away, then you can turn that potential energy, that potential energy will get turned into kinetic energy falling down the ramp. And that, when it falls down, it'll pull on this string right here, and that string will let this go. So let's see what happens when I pull on that. It starts going down. So again, it's falling, and it's turning its potential energy into kinetic energy. But this one's a bit different, because it has this wheel in the middle. Hmm. And what's interesting about the wheel, or one thing that's interesting about the wheel, is that the wheel has another kind of energy, which is spinning energy or rotational energy. And what that means is that this falls down actually more slowly than if it didn't have the wheel. So let's look at that again. See how it's kind of slow? If I didn't have the wheel in the middle, it would actually go a lot faster. Let's watch it one more time. Now let's check out the last part of the machine. So after this comes down, falls off, it hits this bar, the bar pulls on this, slips this off, and that lets the car go. You can see the car wants to go forward. I'm not pushing it, it just goes all by itself. Now why does it want to go? Well, it goes because there's this spring inside of it, which is just a piece of metal that's all squished up squished and it wants to stretch out. When it stretches out, it lets the car go forward. So the squishing, that stores a kind of energy, a potential energy, and when you let it go, that turns into kinetic energy, moving energy. So then the car goes forward, knocks over the dominoes, pulls down the string, and gives Archie his treat. Thanks for watching my Rube Goldberg video. Check out our website for lots of information about how you can make your own. And stay tuned for future challenges. There's lots of exciting stuff coming up. Thanks. Archie, you have a hard day at work today. Yes, hard day working on the Rube Goldberg machine and learning physics. Yes.